Well, now I'd like to turn to uh, Dennis uh, uh, Brennan. And Dennis is gonna talk about something that's really dear and close to my heart. And that involves the art of our models and whether our models really are an art form. And he's gonna phrase it from the standpoint of photography and art. So Dennis, thanks so much for doing this and welcome. Glad to be here, Jim. I'm just gonna let that sit there for a second and just take it in. Some of you have seen this already. And there's a lot that's going on here, but where's the art? Is the art in the photography? Is the art in the modeling? Can you have one without the other? Well, some people, not everybody is going to shoot stuff like this. I've been shooting, I've been shooting photographs for over 50 years. I'm an old film guy. Um, and I have a background in art. I have a degree in art, specifically in photography and filmmaking. And you can't have, I mean, the best photograph of a train layout isn't going to be any better than the modeling that's in it. And so what is it about the modeling that turns it into art? Well, in my, my opinion is that a good model shot should make the viewer look twice and wonder, is that real or is that a model? Now, and what makes it, what makes it feel real? Well, there's a lot of details that, and I'm not an over detail guy. I'm really not. There's not tons of detail in here, although it feels like it. But there's a, there is, there are things in here that just work together. When you're, when you're setting up a scene, assuming that you, you have good models, okay? When you're setting up a scene, you need to think about where the colors are. You can use colors to help the scene. Now, if you look, you'll notice that on this switcher, I conveniently put a nice orange box car, and over here, there's sort of a yellow box car. That was no accident. The reason I did that is so that the profile of the engine would stand out. And to balance that, we also have a red, we have another red. And then we have these earth tone colors in the background. So, and then of course you got the white snow that is uneven. So what makes this photo work is the fact that there is, it, it really just looks like the photographer happened to be in the right place at the right time. It doesn't look staged. It's, there's not a hero in this. I mean, I guess you could say the engine is a hero, but it's, it's not the same thing as an engine blasting out of a tunnel. So you need to think about composition. You need to think about color. You need to think about textures. You need to think about your background. So all of these things, these things, the only way that you're gonna figure this out is to take a lot of photographs. Take photos, take photos, take photos. Now, what I would also suggest is that you 
is that you um, look at coffee table books of real photographs, the real thing. Um, if you look at the real thing, are those photos, you know, there's photos of, basically they're just documentations, really. It's somebody who liked going out and photographing railroads, a train buff. Uh, are they art? Well, that just depends. But the difference here is that you can take a photo that's an ordinary shot, a documentary shot, if you will, but then the art, the art is in the scene. The art is in the setting. The setting, think about, not only do you think about texture and color, look at the color, there's, there's different textures in this shot. The colors are very muted. But you think about, it, there's, a, there's a certain time of day. There's a certain feeling. This is, this is not a bright sunny day here. This is an overcast gray day. So you need to think about that. Here's another shot. Again, I now I used a fog machine in this shot. And this was a cover as the other one was a cover shot. This was a cover shot for, for a classic toy trains magazine. Um, this is a hero. This engine is a hero and on the cover, they made it even tighter. Um, but this is what I would call a hero shot. And again, there's only one real color in this thing if you don't count black. But look, I have a, I have a nice um, sort of a, a yellow, muted yellow tank car behind the switcher. And then you've got the monochromatic, the rest of it is very monochromatic. That was not an accident. Now here's a whole different Here's a whole different feeling. Now, this was actually taken from a photograph that I saw in a book called New York Harbor Railroads. Um, and it has seen very similar to this. The, the scene, basically the concept was um, looking down the street and the engine, a little tank engine was crossing the street. Well, that's what we have here. And what is, you know, why does this work? Well, there's lots of little details. And again, the palette of colors that I used are all um, similar. It means a similar color range. It's earth tones. And then we have a little color pop of color here with the, the box car. And another little pop of color with this red fire hydrant. And then a final pop of color with the, the curtains in the windows. Everything else is earth tones. Um, then you have a little bit of gravel here. It's a, that's a really neat little detail that most people don't even think about. Most modelers don't use it. And what else do you see? we see a sewer grate. And we also see that there, there was uh, cobblestones here at one time that, that are starting to break through the, the, um, the macadam. Here's, a whole, here's the same area of the layout, but a whole different feeling. And, and Dennis, I hate to interrupt you, but we're going to have to continue this on, in the show next week. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I will wrap this up just by saying, think about atmosphere. Think about, um, think about your lighting. Think about your composition and take photos. Just keep taking photos. 
until you get something that feels right. That's how I do it. So that's, that's it. Next week, we'll talk more about this. And if anybody has any questions, just let me know. Dennis, thank you so very much. Anybody have any questions for Dennis? Well, Dennis, we'll talk about it next week and see the questions then. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. I thought you did a great job. Thank you.